voor Suriname vandaag een zeer belangrijk moment. En in de vreugde delen mee de Republiek Bank in Suriname en ook nog het Sint Vincentius ziekenhuis. Suriname die heeft er vandaag een kinderdialyse afdeling welke is ondergebracht in het Sint Vincentius ziekenhuis. Hieraan voorafgaand zijn er in het Marriott Hotel de speeches gehouden door de belangrijke vertegenwoordigers van de Republiek Bank als ook het Sint Vincentius ziekenhuis, maar ook door de minister van Volksgezondheid. We voeren nu naar deze belangrijke momenten voor wat betreft de opening van een kinderdialyse in het Sint Vincentius ziekenhuis. En de Republic Bank heeft met deze donatie in de roos geschoten. Een mooie project hadden ze niet kunnen vinden. Ja, er zijn vele mooie projecten. We hebben het gezien. The power to make a difference. Prachtige projecten. Maar de kroon wordt vandaag geplaatst op het kinderdialysecentrum. Met support van de Republic Bank. We zijn daarom de Republic Bank ook zeer erkentelijk voor een enorme donatie die ze hebben gedaan. I must translate that for you. We are very grateful to the Republic Bank for your donation of this. This pediatric dialysis center, Suriname, hosted in the St. Vincent's Hospital. This donation is on the Suriname family. This is not at St. Vincent's, you can know, it's all the days on Dr. King's way. It's on the Suriname family. So that we as a country can sorry for sick children who also can have to come to Suriname. Many thanks, Republic Bank. I will also special word of thank you to the motor after this initiative. Dr. Werner Keetsweek. Toen hij het ziekenhuis zijn verzendtjes kunnen eens binnenstapte, had hij niet alleen een kant en klaar plan op zak. Hij had ook nog de sponsor gereed. Ik was daar erg van onder de indruk, maar dat laatste is vaak het moeilijkste. We hebben zoveel plannen, maar voor de sponsor niet. En Dr. Keetsweek had de sponsor al bereid gevonden, de Republic Bank, om bij te staan. Het klonk als muziek in de oren van ons en we konden niets anders doen, Dr. Keenswijk, dan alle ondersteuning te zetten. En ik kan u zeggen, dames en heren, ik moet dat verklappen, Dr. Keenswijk is niet de gemakkelijkste als het om kinderdialyse gaat. Hij heeft ons behoorlijk op de broek gegeven als hij vond dat zaken naar zijn mening toch sneller moesten gaan. Waar is meneer Wierja? Ik zeg hem daar. Het doet nog steeds pijn, hè? Hij was soms echt boos. Maar dankzij zijn doorzettingsvermogen mogen wij als samenleving vandaag dit mooie moment beleven. Ook hartelijk dank, Dr. Keetsweek. Rest mij, dames en heren, nog alleen om iedereen te bedanken die dit succes van vandaag mogelijk heeft gemaakt. Onze technische dienst, kinderartsen, verpleegkundigen, medici. Uh, de kinderafdeling, technici, alle andere betrokken bij het installeren, inrichten van het kinderdialyse zijn. Het team ook van Dr. Keenswijk natuurlijk. En dan feliciteer ik, ik eindig om de totale Suriaamse samenleving te feliciteren met dit prachtige project. En ik wens het kinderdialyse centrum met Sint Vincent Sikluis een glorieuze toekomst toe. Today marks the momentous occasion for all children who will benefit from this kidney dialysis center. I can only imagine the joy that they will experience going to that facility and the relief of their parents knowing that at last their children will receive the need and the care that they so deserve and care that will be appropriate and of the highest quality. This project began during the past year, and I pause here to applaud our management, and in particular my predecessor, for the foresight in identifying this as a worthy project to be undertaken by the bank. I also recognize the wisdom of our supervisory board for their sanctioning of this project at a cost of US dollars, 131,000. When you convert that to SRDs at today's rate, 
it is quite significant. It's over 2.7 million SRDs. We have about, at any given time, between 600 and 850 adults on dialysis. And we have 10 centers or more in Suriname that specialize in that. This is not a Surinamese thing. This is a general thing in the world. We have a lot more people on dialysis than we would like. But this means that companies like Baxter, Fresenius, that produce material necessary to dialyze adults, they produce this, these products on bulk. They do this a lot. This is easy. You just order and you get. When it comes to pediatric dialysis, they'll tell you, listen, we don't have a lot of this. We don't keep a lot of this in stock because we don't pre-make these articles. So we have to, you have to order this in advance and then you can get it in about three to six months. But I hope that this increases the understanding of why it's so expensive, why the machines are so expensive, why the lines are so expensive, why the artificial kidneys are so expensive, because of the low numbers. And that is something that we need to keep in mind. Why can't we just add kids to adult centers? I mean, that's easy. Just get rid of the problem. Just add them to adult centers, as we've done in the past few years. And you just put some pediatric machines there, and the problem is over. Pediatricians would say kids, and I say kids are not small adults. Kids are kids. So what they need is completely different than what an adult would need. Aside from the environment that is much more friendly when you have a pediatric dialysis center, it means that you have, you need specialized staff to deal with children that know that a kid, because he's not feeling well, can have a tantrum. And that a tantrum might mean a complication to dialysis, low blood pressure. And a child can tell you, I don't feel fine. Starts crying, starts misbehaving, and you think, ah, what is this child? The blood pressure is dropping. And this is how they behave. And so you need qualified staff to be able to deal with children. You can't just put them in a center for adults. When it comes to complications, we see that pediatric dialysis, children on dialysis, develop complications much more often. So there is, most importantly, a safety issue when you dialyze children outside of the hospital. And as we've done it before, sometimes seven kilometer, kilometers away from the hospital. The child that I presented at the beginning, three years old, bleeding, low uh, anemia, uh, swelling, fluid in the lungs, couldn't breathe, oxygen saturation dropping. This child survived after we did dialysis in, about, in a center that's about seven kilometers away from any hospital in Infermargo. In the beginning, that center said, that child is now welcome. We, we can't do this. this. This is too dangerous. And that is true. And then it was true because I thought it would work and it did, luckily it worked. But this is the problem that we faced. And this is a problem that has been taken away by having a center, especially for kids. And yes, it's a bit expensive. And yes, it's a bit, it's been a, a rough ride getting there. But I'm so happy that we're there. Because this means, and Republic Bank, my thanks goes out to you. This means that children that would have died now will live. This means that children that would have become untransplantable, because one of the problems with putting young children on adult machines, you keep them alive for a while, but they develop complications, they develop heart failure, they develop all sorts of issues that make them untransplantable, not being able to be transplanted when you now start your transplantation program, as we are doing currently in Suriname. So this is why it's essential that you have the right material for the right uh, group because otherwise you can do something and they survive a little bit longer than they would have but you fall short in what you want to achieve so this for me is a very momentous day this is a glorious day because this makes the lives of children in Suriname a lot better what an honor for us so as we earlier have said in the Marriott Hotel how belangrijk and unique so het uh, het kinderdialyse centrum is voor Suriname, voor de Guyana's, voor de regio, begreep ik. En we zijn super trots als sint Vincent ziekenhuis dat we een rol hierin kunnen spelen, namelijk het faciliteren van uh, dit mooie kinderdialysecentrum. De expertise is in de hands of 
Dr. Uh, Kate Swake and his uh, excellent staff and team members. And we are really proud to play a role and host this uh, such a beautiful center.